Hello, my name is Marcus Bühler. I'm the McAfee Professor of Engineering at MIT. I'm a material scientist and a composer of experimental music. We make viruses sing, design new proteins, and compose music through unusual ways by invoking the science of molecular mechanics. When the Berlin Wall fell, I was living near Stuttgart, Germany, 12 years old. It was a deeply personal experience, since part of my family lived in East Germany and East Berlin. The day the wall fell was one of the greatest days of my life, bringing hope, joy, freedom for millions, and exemplifying the power of self-determination. I still remember that I aced an English test the next day. Growing up, I wanted to become a teacher and an inventor. As a young boy, I used to take apart computers, build my own electronics, and write my own music by analyzing existing songs. My dream has come true. I enjoy every part of being a professor at MIT, where I can push the frontiers of knowledge together with my amazing team of students and postdocs. I also appreciate the opportunity to work with collaborators from around the world from different disciplines, breaking down walls of knowledge and thinking. My research breaks the wall between matter and sound, turning sound into matter and turning matter into sound. Have you ever wondered if your favorite song could be made into a material that you can see and touch? Have you ever wondered how a virus would sound like, such as the pathogen that causes COVID-19? We have done it. Over thousands of years, human civilizations have used materials to make sound. Think of vibrating strings in a harp. However, can we go the other way around, design materials, make them using sound? Can we use a totally new way of making music from molecules, quantum mechanics, or the protein building blocks of life? How would it sound like and what human emotions would it stir? I've discovered a stunning similarity between sound and matter. In both music and materials, there are hierarchies of building blocks. In matter, we have atoms forming molecules, forming grains, forming the structure of materials. In sound, we have sine waves forming tones, forming melodies, harmonies, rhythms, forming music. What's more, molecules aren't static as assumed in textbook. They're actually continuously moving, vibrating, and we discovered that they generate a sort of molecular sound due to their quantum level motions. Proteins are life's material of choice encoded by DNA, which is translated then into amino acids, which then assemble or fold into complex structures like spiderweb cells or pathogens. However, we do not yet know what proteins form from the specific codes of DNA. In the COVID-19 pathogen, there are around 30,000 letters of DNA, but we know very little about what proteins are formed, how they look like, and what their function is. Without knowing this, it's very difficult to develop treatments or vaccines. With, we have discovered a new way to solve this problem. We can make proteins audible based on the unique vibrational signature of the chemical Lego bricks nature uses to build life. Each letter encoded in the DNA, the amino acids, have a unique sound and we can hear it. As the protein forms, these sounds are modulated in time, volume and overlaid, creating complex interwoven assemblies of structure. A symphony made by nature. Through this method, I developed a musical model of the pathogen of COVID-19, a symphony made by nature, finding beauty in a deadly virus. The beauty emerges because of the intricate design of the virus, which, when translated into music, registers in our brain as a familiar structure of classical form. The division between death and beauty shows the concept of deceit. A deadly virus appears beautiful. Just like the virus deceits the human cell when it enters it, pretending to be a friendly visitor before entering the cell and replicating. The resulting music features counterpoint, a compositional method used by Johann Sebastian Bach. Protein music is counterpoint music. The question arises, did Bach inadvertently discover some of the most innate secrets of the way life is built? But it gets even more interesting. Since the mapping of amino acids to sound is unique, it can be reversed. Out of sound emerges a unique sequence of amino acids. This allowed us to come up with new protein designs that nature has not yet invented. Nature can serve as an inspiration for better materials, which are more resilient, greener, need less energy, and are made from non-toxic substances. Silk, for instance, is an amazing material, stronger than steel, yet it is built at room temperature, completely green, and you can eat it. By linking music and matter, we can also develop new musical instruments. Think of proteins or living organisms or spiderwebs as new musical forms. It opens a new palette of sound that resembles the unseen, the microscale, and that provides a creative outlet. We're currently trying to better understand the COVID-19 pathogen and help to develop treatments. 
Also, we're interested in getting more people excited about the interface of art and science, and music in particular, as a universal language that connects people across the world. Can we translate a set of classical music like Bach, Beethoven and Mozart into proteins and use their compositional ideas as new material design platforms? Music is everywhere. Matter is sound and sound is matter. My friends and family are amazed by the deep connections between material and music and how we can learn from breaking down walls between disciplines.